Yeah. The layered impacts of racialized trauma upon you as a person of color or difference. Physical reactions, headaches, sweaty palms, resentment, trembling, increased heart rate, long-term health concerns, mental reactions, nightmares, as brain continues to rationalize event or themes that are common with danger, dread, being chased with a constant sense of exclusion, isolation, some th memories, reinforcing helplessness and desire to withdraw from hope, to return home, flashbacks with powerful floods of emotions as if the fascism is happening all over again. Fear and anxiety, signs that your nervous system is functioning as it should. Nevertheless, it can be as bad or worse than the original emotions experienced or witnessed and certainly can last longer. Anger, a normal reaction to racist microaggressions. You might direct it at the perpetrator, institution or situation responsible or at yourself or at people of your support networks. Sadness can be a way to recover from the fight or flight response. It can also come from feeling overwhelmed or outnumbered or by a grieving for a terribly threatening world. And then where it goes. And then it goes there, but uh, I think it naturally might want to go there, but it doesn't matter because they're headings. They've got headings. Guilt, self-blaming for not preventing it, especially if someone is hurt, as if somebody, we, as if somehow we caused it. Numbness, shutting down emotionally, becoming, coming from your body and mind's self-protective efforts in the face of being overwhelmed, ostracized or outnumbered. It's tiring trying not to think about racism, avoidance of people, places, situations, or anything related to triggers, painful memories, paranoia from exposure to microaggressions, erodes your capacity to trust people and suspect everyone, especially if it is witnessed by a violent silence of complicit bigots. Hypervigilance, constantly scanning for threats, stuck in the high set, high setting, but this doesn't make it any more comfortable, realising your heart pounds out of your chest, taking longer to relax and life is lived in real time. Mm. 